Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some Sly Cooper. We've played one, we've played two, we've played three. You guys know what time it is. It's time to play number four, Thieves in Time. So, hit the start button. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. I did create one game already to test out settings and visuals and stuff like that. Um, can we rewrite it? Do you want to over... Yes, let's go ahead and rewrite my past save. Do you want the full story? Yes, I do. The full story would be very nice. So, let's go ahead and jump into it here. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name's Sly. Sly Cooper, and I'm a thief. From a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business. And business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum, but I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist and we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus. The Master Thieves Handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team, and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out. Especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone, or something, was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, 
Bentley revealed that he already had the solution, time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. All right. Let's go and do this. Um, not usually a fan of time travel. It tends to ruin most series it touches. It's basically a curse in my opinion. But it can be done right. Now, um, I did play Sly 4 when I was younger. But it is definitely the one that I remember the least by far. So, okay, most of it's going to be new. Everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up. All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. Ooh, bro, Bentley's got his Doc Ock arms. That's kind of sick. But yeah, <clears throat> um, like I said, I time travel usually doesn't turn out too well. I'm hoping they do it right. As far as what I've heard from the game, it's not a very highly respected game. But I'm here to judge that. That's why I'm playing. So what I'm going to try to do is not come in with any biases. I'm not going to come in thinking it's a bad game. We're going to go ahead and play this game. And we're going to try to like it the best we can. And if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. But I'm not going to make that de determination until I play. So let's go ahead and start. Mostly everything's the same, I'm assuming, as far as controls go. But I do... See, I can't tell if I'm a fan of the graphics. I'm definitely a fan of Sly. You can even see his little cheeks like going up and down. Um, I do know the vis... Yeah, yeah, Bentley. I am a fan of most of the visuals, obviously. Yeah, yeah, Bentley. Right. Just another one of my many talents. I'm a fan of the visuals as far as the map. This guy, dude. Excellent. It's perfect for peeking around corners. The one thing I'm not a fan of is I know some of the character models are gonna get a little weird. Yeah, just like every other game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a spoiler of which model I'm not a fan of. That's Carmelita. I don't know what they did with her, but she looks weird. Not a problem, Bentley. Oof. A good thief prefers to stay above the action anyway. Okay, select. What, what is that? Okay, this is the map and status. Okay. Is there... Okay, no bottles or anything on this map. You know what's also a thing I want to check? Can I... Are my controls inverted? Why in the world are they inverted? I don't know why they're, by standard they're inverted. Who, what kind of, which one of you freaks normally plays on inverted? Unless you're into flight sims, you should not be playing inverted. If you play flight sims, then sure. By all means, freak it up. But. Going ghost. Watch out. Whoop. 
Um, okay, how do I get up there? I'm assuming I gotta go on this. Yep. Bop. Ooh. Oops. I still not super sure actually what I got shot by. I didn't think I got seen by anything, but See, I told you it would be a piece of cake. Zoink. Sly's gotten fat apparently. Huh. Guess I'm a little out of practice. He's put on some pounds. He's been eating too much garbage. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security line. I think I can handle that. So, I think there's a rat homie to our left, right? I can't believe the security of this place. This better be worth it. Alright, so I can still steal the cash. And I could still... Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to do, like, the up. <clears throat> the up hit and then circle, but... Okay. I can still charge it up. What else can I do? Okay, very cool. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Those are the bad guys. Alright, so we got a little... We got, like, a armadillo, dude. We got... What in the world is that big guy? It looks like he has a trumpet? And that dude looks like a skunk. Can't see the big dude. I want to see the big dude. Okay. Well, I'm going to assume those are our enemies in the of the game. They tend to show the enemies in the beginnings of most games. Like somebody spent a fortune on this place. I wonder what kind of surprises they have inside. Well, it is Paris. I think. Hey, yo. It's key time. I wonder how much the rent is in Paris, I'm assuming. Owning a mansion ain't cheap. All right, going in from the skylight, like usual. Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patient Sly, you can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Kind of a fan of Bentley's new design, that's for sure. Look at him. His face doesn't look weird. His Interesting. The last time I was wheelchair is sick. Alright. Clear clear reference to the disgusting. Clear reference to the Ninja Turtles. Should make short work of that grace. I just need to press the that was a blast. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bentley would definitely be kind of a cringe fifth mutant ninja turtle. What is he, the crippled one? Alright, here we go. Looks like Bentley's shtick is still the bombing, which is pretty cool. Do we got like a ability list? Okay. That's a big jump. I better use the hover pack here. My jump. Okay. I assumed it was like the jetpack from before. You go bing bing bunk, you know. Nope, this one is just a straight hover one. Great. That platform is blocked. I'll have to throw a bomb to clear it off. If I press and hold the L1 button, I can bring up my range fight. Then I can adjust the range Bro, I suck with this new hover if thing. Okay. Bentley's a germaphobe. Huh? Why didn't I wear my rubber gloves? Yeah, that that water does look kinda like doo doo water though. That's not very cool. I don't want doo doo water. I guess I can't blame him. Those guys not gonna hear me? Okay. Yeet. Very cool, Bentley. 
Dude, he's more he's more stealthy than Sly is. Talk about your close shaves. How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, great, perfect. I'll be done in a jiffy. It seems like Sly took a break, Murray took a break. Bro, Bentley's been stealing this whole time. Alright, what do I gotta do with my map? Okay, so I can see that there's enemies up ahead, but why does why does that matter to me? I'm gonna bomb them either way. Next time I'm giving Sly the sewer job. Let's go ahead and uh, place it right there. Bing bong. Nice. Who had a big old sneeze right there? All right, we hacking? Hello, old friend. <gasps> yes. Guys, I'm so excited. The controls aren't inverted. We're in the new age. The past three games in the hacking, it's always been inverted. It is finally not inverted. Oh, thank the heavens. I'm so happy. You guys don't know how big of a relief that is. Like... The hacking games have always been very, very, very fun. But they've always been slightly ruined by the fact that they've been inversed. So, this overjoys me. Answer code. <laughs> Hands are code. That's hilarious. Man's been playing World War II Sims. Is this my? Oh, is this my shell? Ooh. Yo, get away! Get away! We're not in World War II. Why do we got tanks? Alright. Bonk. Later. And I do like the new model. Instead of like pizza squares, we got these new updated ones, which I like. Not bad. And apparently we got bottles, treasures, and safes, and masks. Instead of... Well, in 3, they got rid of them all together, so... Honestly, Murray is the one that I'm most excited for to see what they changed. They finally gave him some form of a like character last game, so. Okay, he has a spinning attack now, too? Is there okay? I do have the thunder flop again. I'm a thunder. F oh, he poisoned me. Bop. Yeah. So this game talks a lot more than the past games too. I'm having a hard time getting a word in here. Um, can I shake him down? Oh yeah. All right. Did not mean to kill him. So what I gotta do? Shake is circle. Okay. I wanted that other dude's treasure, but anyway, they Murray's story really started in the third game. In the one and two, they didn't do much with him other than haha, he's fat and he's hungry. So I'm excited to see what they do with Bentley now. Hopefully, add a little bit more plot and narrative and emotion to his character. Okay. I don't like rats. Cheese eating rats. Come over here. Bop. Bro, what are you doing? How how do you not know that I just basically killed all your friends? What do you What is what is wrong with you? 
Dude, unattentive, man. That He needs to get a new job. Okay. Huh? Where did you come from, shortstop? Are they, are they gonna gas him? <clears throat> Beat him up, Murray. What are you doing? You guys should have taken the night off. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Murray's going Super Saiyan. What? How in the... Oh, I gotta hit the other thing. I got you. I got you. Okay. Not where I wanted to throw it. There we go. Bop. Okay, Sly. The security system is down. You're all clear. Great. I'm going in. Steal it. What the? You didn't really think you were gonna get away with it, did you, Ringtail? Bro, what did they do to her face? They made that like so hey, long. Carmelita, well, funny meeting you here. Guess everyone's face is long, but. You no good lying thief. I'm locking you up for good. Sorry, gotta take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper. Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly. Now quit messing around and get down here. We're in the van and ready to roll. Au revoir. Let's hit it. I like Sly's new belt buckle. Very nice. Oh, I'm driving. Does it matter what I hit? Can I just, like, hit everything? <laughs> Um, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, time to go back to the future type deal. Punch it. You got it, Sean. That's low down. Coop one. <laughs> nice. Sick. Well, we know where we're going first. Well, Feudal Japan. What else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo, to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to give it to Dimitri. Dimitri no matter where like sell it when we travel it was a perfect situation since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. oh give it to Panda King Panda Everything King is more respectable so fast. the past few days were just a blur 
But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. All right. Very cool. One good thing about giving it to Dimitri is we'll probably get to hear him throughout the entire game. And y'all know my love for Dimitri. I still think he's like a, basically a criminal still, though. But... Master Ninja and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi's sushi restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high-security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the Shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation, and the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. Sounds a good plan. Let's get, let's get Samurai Boy out of jail. Turning Japanese? Okay. Not the most creative title I've ever seen, but uh, okay. Thief Net has new goodies. Yes, let us take a look at the Thief Net here. Paraglider? Okay, we're going to need that basically instantly. El Elbow, El Droppo combo. And Sleep Ammo. Okay, Paraglider first. Always buy Paraglider. Honestly, they should have just included that in his primary set of skills, but... That's just me. Okay. Well, we're going to end it off here. Thanks for watching. See you in the game next episode.